Okay, arguably, this is the biggest game of the season for both these sides in the next game. Because, as we said before, both are going for European uh, exploits next season. It's Freiburg versus Union. Freiburg at minus 110. A lot of people will be like, whoa, Freiburg at home has been scary. Minus 110, don't complicate it. But then Union at plus 290 have been taken all before them. Goals under or over two and a half. I think you've got a straight look at the over two and a half at minus 134. The draw's a runner, and it's a big runner at plus 285. Um, Alex, you can take this away because I favour the home side, but again, I think we see goals. Union are a tough team to play against uh, all in the last two seasons, uh, even though they... Um... I think that we lost a Kev for a second there. Even though they lost a Max Cruz in the January transfer window, who signed with the Wolfsburg, I think that they learned how to play without him. And they have some other players stepping up uh, and uh, look uh, what they achieved. Uh, we're talking about two sides, two of the most informed sides right now in uh, Bundesliga. Uh, the third one is uh, obviously F uh, Köln. Right, who uh, all three of them are fighting for the European spots. I think that this is a classic. I think that uh, um, Freiburg uh, absolutely overachieved, uh, uh, sitting fourth in the standings. They're fighting, uh, um, fighting for the Champions League spots. Imagine to see Freiburg in Champions League next season. Ima just imagine that, you know, RB Leipzig to finish fifth or even sixth, uh, given uh, what uh, is happening to them right now. But uh, Freiburg will uh, also uh, play Leverkusen in the final of match of the season. So that's why this is crucial for them to take the all three points. Union Berlin will go to win. They will not stay back and relax. A draw doesn't favor any of the two teams. So I think that we are here for uh, another entertaining uh, Bundesliga match. Um, Freiburg, of course, uh, they have the, the first chance. Uh, uh, because they are playing on uh, on home turf. Uh, let's not forget that the, the the reverse fixture ended in a goalless draw. I don't see that happening uh, again. I see. I, I think that we'll have goals uh, here. I already took that uh, for uh, for uh, our uh, Bet US Soccer uh, fans uh, uh, three days ago. So I think that uh, the line moved a little bit uh, in uh, against us. But uh, I took it three days ago at a different price, a better price. But I'm also happy with that minus 135. Yeah, I mean, the other one is... So the over two and a half at minus 135. Kev, is that a parlay piece? Is it strong enough? Because Union can be frustrating. But with Freiburg and Union, the only downside is, and we see this sometimes when we have sides that are coming in in such good form, that they start looking at the prize and they don't play their normal game and they get nervous. Yeah, I think there should be goals in this, really. Uh, I think Union generally, even though they can be quite compact and can be quite awkward, they do tend to want to attack, certainly on the counter-attack. And I think Freiburg will, will allow them to do that. But I think the thing that attracts me to this game is that I think the prices are wrong in terms of the match odds market. And I think these two sides are much closer in ability than the market would have you believe. And I think that gives us the opportunity to get a couple of results on side to get that draw and get that Union win on side because I think Union have been in great form recently. They didn't play anywhere near their best against Greuther Foot, played really poorly in the first half, which isn't like them. Foot played very well, by the way, but they got there in the end and they managed to dig out a point. And I just think these two teams, the pressure's the same. And I just think it's a lot closer than that. those prices suggest. OK, well, let's have a little look at the official picks because it's one of them games where we've all got an opinion, but with that opinion brings different value because we've got Union Berlin double chance at minus 110. I've gone with Freiburg to score twice at minus 120, thinking it's well could be a 2-2, maybe even a 3-2 with one of them getting a winner and over 2.5 at minus 135. So really, it's all about goals unless it's a uh, little nil-nil or 1-1. One, one. And then Kev's uh, a complete and utter winner. Anyone in there? Jonathan Nelson says both teams to score and over two and a half. Um, as long as it, if it is 2-1, let's make sure that Freiburg are the one that gets the two. Sorry about that, Kev. Um, OK, let's...